Is it now time to talk to your brother? Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Frank. How much younger are you than uh, Frank? Two years? No, not quite two years, is it? Did you and your brother talk about it much? No. December 7th, 1941, a date which will live in infamy. I remember Roosevelt put, coming over the radio telling what had happened. Yeah. Did you think that might impact you at some point? No, I never <laughs> thought about it. <laughs> I, wasn't, I was just a kid then, you know. So I did have a choice. Yeah, now wait a minute, I had a choice. The guy says, where would you like to be? And I said, the Navy. Whammy stamp, he says, you're in the Army. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Yeah, that was a big choice, wasn't it? You had more people in the Army than you did the Navy. Yeah. <laughs> so where did you do your basic training? Down in uh, Camp Landing, Florida. Uh, but we was in California and I went up to Seattle. Right. They shipped us out to Hawaii. <laughs> and we was there for a while. They shipped us out and we ended up over in Okinawa. We had, had a few other islands gone away. When you went to the various islands, uh, had there already been taken? I mean, are they... There were some of them, yeah. And, uh, but they still had people that was left there that sneak out at night and kill people if they could find them. 77th Division. 77th Division. I was a replacement. Mm -hmm. And uh, there was a lot of replacements. They, they assigned us to a group then. Did you come in, come in on Higgins boats? and uh, the, Yeah. yeah. We climbed down over the the net. They threw the cargo net over. We climbed down that and got in. We, I th I th when we got in, when we left the boat and got into the woods to take us to shore, I th we as they had a net laid on deck and you throwed everything you had in there. There went all my clothes and everything, and everything I had went in there, and the club down got in there and went. I never seen my clothes again. <laughs> <laughs> Only what I had on, I wore them a long time. Oh, my God. <laughs> there went, so forget the duffel bag, right? I didn't even have a duffel bag. Everything I had went in that bag in there. I don't know what they done with it. I never seen action, no, not until I got on Oki. Yeah. Did you know there was going to be firefight in Okinawa? Did you know it was a hot island at the time? Oh, yeah. 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 As the Japanese Empire crumbled in 1945, the rising sun gathered its forces for a last stand against an expected U.S. invasion at the island of Okinawa. Throughout March of 1945, the American Navy closed in on Okinawa, 350 miles from Japan. For two weeks, the Americans pounded the island with a barrage 20 times heavier than the bombardment of Nazi defenses on D-Day. So when you got on there, then what happened? Well, we, we, that's what they, we joined the group, it was replacement. A, comp a goal that you had, to, they were asked to do? Just whatever I was told. <laughs> <laughs> go here, go there. Yeah. I'll tell you what, I, I was led one time on a, a top, ridge went over and top leveled off. Down in the back was, it was dug, the Japanese was dug in there. Well, I threw a hot grenade in there and I see cloth fly out of there, but on the top where I was, I was laying there, a grenade hit, I was laying down about that far from my head. There, I laid there, grenade hit there, so I just threw the head down. It never touched me. It just blew right up. So I've always, they say that blows up, and it did. It had to blow up, it didn't hit me.
Yeah. No shrapnel, anything. Nothing. It was about that far from my head. I just threw my head down the ground. Wow. When you get the action going, you don't really know what's happening around you. You know, they bomb and artillery and everything else. But they, when it's all over, the infantry has to go in and clean it up. They're there. They come crawling out of holes like rats. Mm -hmm. They're everywhere. The, the, the bombing is everything helps, but they don't get them. You've got to go in and get them. How did you feel when you these Japanese would be coming out of the holes? Did you, did you feel like you really wanted to take them as prisoners, or did you just... No, you want to get them. Get them first. Yeah. Uh, I didn't want no prisoners. Yeah. Enemies mm -hmm. still were out there. They would come out at night. I see fields and fields just tanks all smashed and burnt and stuff in there. But stand the guard one night. I was sitting there. And I heard the wrestling, it was the cord patch, like, I heard the wrestling down in there, and I thought, man, sneak, trying to sneak up in here, and I sit there a little quiet. I was ready. When I got up there, some goats come up through. <laughs> 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 and I, never, I was just thinking that a lot. <laughs> you were ready, though. I was ready. <laughs> Not for a goat. <laughs> well, at some point, you actually get hit. Yeah. What was the circumstances? We were... The, the, when I got the, in, in action, we, we had quite a bit of action, but I listened, we, they were, we were stalled on. And uh, we'd been there a week, couple of weeks, and we couldn't, couldn't get any farther. And, and the Japanese had the idea that we would fight on Sunday. So we surprised them, or was going to surprise them. So on that Sunday, we made an, on the morning, we made an attack on them. They weren't sleeping either. <laughs> that's, that's when we got in a real scuffle. But we had a few scrimmages before that, too. So what did you get hit? The left arm, left yeah, arm. yeah. I don't think I've asked uh, anybody, what, what's it feel like to get hit? You don't feel it. It don't hurt. It doesn't hurt a bit. You just... I, I, was, I, was, on, I was on laying on my belly, pulling, my, and my, just, my arm went out from under me. Down. It, I didn't feel nothing, but I knew I was hit. And I, I, I had a BAR and I just threw it down over the hill. What's that? What's... Browning automatic okay. rifle. Yes, and uh, I threw it down over the hill and I went down over it. And I, my, my arm got up behind me and I couldn't get it out. <laughs> <laughs> I had an awful time getting it. Finally I got a hold of it and I could carry it. I went back down. They had. Uh, Oh, about four or five hundred yards back, they had jeeps there, and people to take you back. Nope, I was done. done. Oh, patched up. I, yeah, they patched me up. They, they set me up on a table. It's it's give me a whack, and they started. I don't even remember to get my shoes untied. I came to the next morning, I was in a cot. <laughs> oh my gosh. And uh, I got up and I just went in a heap. They said I wasn't supposed to be up, but nobody told me that. <laughs> but it was, a, it was kind of a trip. It bothers me, but I get by. Yes, I got a purple heart. Congratulations. Yeah. Uh, and obviously you lost people. You lost troops, yeah. the American troops. Oh, yeah. Uh, was there a sense of, of pausing and reflecting on that, or did you just kind of move on? You moved on. You do. You was happening. Mm -hmm. You didn't bother you. Yeah. 
that's part of it. I had a I had a uh, a diabetes carrier carry extra ammo, so I would run out and. Uh, we went down on a hole one a big hole we both get in, and he couldn't sleep. And I, I turned, I said, well, you watch and I'll sleep, because we take turns watching. Mm -hmm. So I laid down in there and went to sleep. When I woke up, he was gone. I don't know where he went, never heard from him. I really didn't even know who he was, you know, he's just sight there. I don't ever, I always wonder what happened to him, but I don't know. I think he just took off. Yeah. So I've seen guys that get scared and just run out of there. Where do you go? Just go. I don't know where they went. They went away from where the flight was. Yeah. <laughs> A little story I'll tell you. I met my wife when I, when I got back to into the States and into the hospital in uh, Cambridge, Fletcher General. My wife's brother was in there and I, I met him in there. He'd been wounded was in And we kind of became buddies, or did pretty good buddies, run around together. And he took me home with him. And I met his sister. Hmm. And we was, we, him and I were going to go to town into Parkersburg. And she says, I got a doctor's dentist appointment. Can I ride over with you? And, yeah, you'd ride over with us. And before we got to town, she wasn't going to go to the dentist, so she called and I canceled her appointment. She went with us. <laughs> 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 and. So we had a date. So we had a few, few dates. It wasn't too long, I don't know. But anyway, I, I asked her, I said, if she'd marry me, and she said, you, you'll have to ask my mother. So I said, okay. I stayed there at their house that night. I went down, so she said, you'll have to ask my mother. And I said, okay. So I went down, her mother was standing down there. And I said, can I marry your daughter? She looked at me, she said, well, she burned her ass, you're going to sit in the blister. <laughs> and she had a great mother, too, she was good. So that was the thing, so then I came home, and they, I had to leave, and I came home, and I got her wedding rings and stuff, and I went back and married her. We've been married 70 years now. Congratulations. Congratulations. That's terrific. <laughs> what a great story. What a great story. So that's a highlight. Uh, that's a direct result of the war, right? Yeah, yeah. it was, yeah. Because of that, you, you know, if it hadn't been wounded and been there, yeah. Right. I'd never met, I wouldn't have met her. There we go. That's the legacy of the war. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's... A, a moment, I, and I thank you yeah. for both of you guys taking the time. Yeah, we've got lots of time, I hope. <laughs> <laughs> yes.